In this video, you will learn about email alerts to help you keep up with the literature in your field. We will demonstrate how to create alerts in PubMed, CINAHL, and Google Scholar. First, let's start by discussing what email alerts are and why they are useful. Email alerts are automatic updates that you receive when a database flags new records that match your research topic. These alerts are useful because you don't always have time to visit databases and rerun your searches hoping to locate new content. Instead, you can run your searches once and set up an alert to do the scanning and push out new updates to you. This type of information feed, specific to a topic of interest, can save you time and help make sure you don't miss out on new literature published in your area. Now that we understand what email alerts are, let's talk about how you create them. To set up email alerts in most databases, you must have a user account in the database. In PubMed, this can be accessed by clicking Login in the top right corner of the main screen. If you don't have an account in PubMed, you can quickly create one to be able to set up alerts. To create a personal EBSCO account in CINAHL, click Sign In at the top of the screen, then scroll down and click Create One Now. Just like with PubMed, you can also choose to just sign in with your Google account. In Google Scholar, you will just use your Google account, so make sure you're logged in with that, and if you don't have one, you can check out the link in the description below for information on how to create a Google account. Other search interfaces, including other disciplinary databases and Novanet, typically have personal account options that will allow you to save searches and set up notifications. Now that we have an account set up and we have logged into the database, it's time to create an alert. In PubMed, you can do this by running your search. Then under the search bar, click Create Alert. Then you can give your search a name. And here I have given mine the name Breath Analysis Project. To finish creating the alert, click Yes to the question, Would you like to receive email updates of new search results? Once you click Yes, you will be asked to verify the email address you want your results sent to. Then you can select from the options to decide how frequently you want results, which day of the week you want them, and more. Then be sure to click Save to finish creating the alert. Let's create an alert in CINAHL now. Make sure you're logged into the database using your EBSCO account. Then run your search as usual. Once finished, click Search History under the search box, then click the checkbox beside the search you want to create an alert for. Then click Save Searches slash Alerts and give the search a name. Here I am using the same name as before, Breath Analysis Project. And then by clicking Alert, I am then given more options to specify how often I receive my alerts and for how long, as well as the email address I want my alerts sent to. Then be sure to click Save so the alert will be created. Finally, let's create an alert in Google Scholar. Make sure you're logged into your Google account first, then run your search in Google Scholar. On the results screen, click Create Alert on the left-hand side. Then double check that the search is shown in the way you want it to run. Confirm the email address where you would like to receive your alerts, the number of results you want to receive, and then click Create Alert. As you gain an appreciation for the convenience of staying current with email alerts, you may find yourself setting up email alerts on multiple topics in many databases. It might not be a bad idea to keep track of the alerts you have set up in a list and to use any available feature in your email software to transfer alerts from your inbox to a dedicated folder. When you would like to stop receiving alerts, you can do this by adjusting the settings in your saved searches within these three databases. If you need help doing this, a librarian will be happy to assist, and you can reach out to the Kellogg Library by emailing kellogg.library at dal.ca. You can also reach out to us if you would like advice on searching any of the databases mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching! For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.